Good day, guys. This is Rusty Number 5 speaking, and welcome to this Thomas Wooden Railway layout tour. Once again, I decided to make a layout for fun, but instead of making a mini layout, I made an average size layout. Now here is the up view perspective of the layouts. It's not big or anything, but I'd say it's kinda cool. I made this in about 7 hours, definitely with breaks. Just kinda to see how good I could make a Thomas Wynn Railway layout in that time. Now before we begin the tour, I would like to showcase this Herald I got. So, um, I bought... I bought some new stuff off of Totally Thomas Town, which will... I think all of them appear on this layout, so, uh... Keep a lookout, and you will see those items. So yeah, this is, uh, this is like a 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s Herald. Like, you know, um, if you've been watching this channel for a long time, you would know that my other Herald is rather beaten up. So, I'm glad I got this new one here, which is almost in mint condition. It's really cool. So, let's go over here at Tidmouth Sheds, where we have... Thomas, Henry, Percy, Oliver, and Edwards. Now, let's go on this line. So, this was originally going to be an attempt at making, in the most rusty number five way possible, a map of the island of Sodor, which is something that Keekray's done before. Um, but I kind of kind of gave up on that because I don't have enough track and destinations for that. But it is fairly close in... Some ways, and by some ways, I mean we got Timoth Halt here. So yeah, let's go on this line, and we got the uh, the main attraction, or I guess the thumbnail of this video, the Flying Scotsman. Of course, he's too good for this railway, but he is here, and hmm, maybe he is here helping set up for a railway show, which will be a part of Wooden Railway Travels. Hmm. On this line, we go back to Sidmouth Sheds, and now here we arrive at Knapford Station, where here we have Diesel and Spamcam D199. Yeah, looks like they really learned their lesson from that episode. So let's take a moment to just look at Knapford Station. I didn't put too many engines on this layout, but I put a few. We do have Terrence here, uh, Rip Terrence's Caterpillars, they fell off for some reason, I don't know how that happened. So this line here, uh, we arrive at the Sodor Lumber Mill, and it kind of just ends there. Kind of lazy, but, uh eh. This is the transfer table. We go here, and we end up at this station. Let's go here, and we end up at the docks. Now, I could imagine a lot of you probably saw my, uh, my dock set tour shorts. And, uh, as you can see, this definitely is not like that in the slightest. It is quite the, quite the downgrade, but, you know, this is a layout, not a set. And honestly, upon building this layout... I am kind of remembering why I don't build layouts anymore. We got the docks regulars here, cranky and salty. We go over here and we end up at this pirate bridge, which, uh, yeah, doesn't actually go anywhere. So on this one, we end up at this farm. And here we have James at this, um, at this, uh, switch crossing, yeah. Um, here's another crossing, which I just realized there are two crossings here in the same area. Let's go on this line, and we end up at whatever this is called, and we end up at Harold. Now, this part here, uh, just this, this area as a whole is probably my favorite part of the whole layout. Here's Whiff, who I kind of decided to randomly put here at this, at this really cool track piece here. We end up here at a buffer, and here is a signal. Here we end up at this shed here, and hey, look at that! It's an engine I got from Telly Tom Sound recently, Stepney. So we got Stepney, Fergus, Rosie, Daisy, and Ryan. Over here we got Captain. Hey, look at that! It's another item I got from Telly Tom Sound, yeah. 
And hey, look at, yeah. So this here, that is the, that is a bridge, the lighthouse bridge. When we circle all the way here, we end up at this hill. Which, funny story, only a couple of years ago, I realized that that connects to this, that tunnel there. I, I don't know why I didn't realize that sooner. We go here, and we end up at Tidmouth Halt. And I think that's it for this layout. This could be the last layout I ever make, therefore the last layout video I ever make, but we'll see. I'm definitely becoming more of a sets person just as a whole, as you can tell by Winter Eye Travels. And yeah, that's all I got for you today, and rust out.